Hey, what's up, guys? We're going to um, get this radio beacon set down so we can get some more settlers in here. We're going to need settlers, you know, to walk around, pretend they're doing stuff, but also settlers to farm over here. You know, the melons, we'll plant some potatoes and all that stuff, mutt fruit. But we need settlers to do that, and we're going to build that beacon for it. It's going to be underneath your build menu. You're going to go to power right here power and you're gonna have to build a generator for it too but that's okay right here power miscellaneous recruitment radio beacon you need one of this the hardest part was getting the crystal crystal you can get from cameras if you scrap them or you know store them in your little workshop over here this uh, red workshop um i just hurry up and ran to diamond city that way i could get uh, the traders there because they got several traders and I was able to buy from them and then it just so happened when I came back here I had Carla wait here right here to trade with her so I got those cameras but I need more settlers I, ju I just do so we're going to do that now we're going to hook up some power to it oh it up it is on already yes now I can hopefully do it. Sanctuary right now we got five people, 29% happiness, which is not much. Um, but now with the radio beacon, we will definitely get more. There should be underneath the radio, you should be able to hear it. Settlement right here. It's very quiet, as you can tell. <laughs> but it's there. So that, that's exactly how we're going to get more settlers here. And then we're going to assign them for jobs. Because we want settlers to do our food. We want settlers to do uh, traveling. Where you can set up a traveler to go from sanctuary, for example, to... Um, not the diner here. Right here. Uh, this farm. Grey Garden. This is one run by robots. But still. And then there's farms all over. So you'll have supply lines. And you can assign settlers to that supply line. And you need more settlers to do that. Um, when you first get here and you do this stuff for Preston Garvey, the Minuteman, you're going to get a couple settlers. But basically, they just kind of, this guy walks around, does nothing. The one lady sits all the time. Preston wants to be her best friend. So, like, you can't really use these guys. You need new people. Now, I made sure that I had um, Charisma set at max when I made my character skill points. It's very important to make sure you have high charisma. Charisma is everything in the wasteland. So, yes, I made sure I did that first. Um, hopefully this helps if you like it, man. Subscribe, follow, do whatever you gotta do. I mean, I appreciate it. Okay, as you can see, we need more food. We need more water. So we're gonna, we're gonna plant some food. We're gonna get some water going in here. And we're gonna assign some settlers to do that. Um, just so we have it. Okay, we got plenty of water now for the people. Food, I definitely raided a whole bunch of stuff from random places. We got the melons. They're a pain in the butt to do, but I definitely got some potatoes and stuff. Yeah, I told you, man, I was surviving. I'm a survivor. Now, once you get this done, you got settlers that'll just randomly do it, but you can assign them to do that, which is why you need the radio beacon to get more settlers. That way you can assign them to harvest. You can assign them to go and be a supply line. Like, it's important to do that. Yeah, and it connects everybody and makes it just that much easier. Okay, you. No, not store. You. You. Lady. Okay, see? You highlight this person and they automatically are assigned to food. So they control all of these green items. But these other ones are not being watched. So we would need to go find somebody else. Like this guy, he says he's on a sign. Click on him with X. To tell him to command and then tell him to go over here to these ones that says requires a person 
and assign them to that. And see, now it says it doesn't require a person, and you're good to go. Everything's good here. What's up, Davey, bud? Hey, how you doing, man? So now we're good there. I don't think I have any more food. I can have that one melt. That's right there. So he can do all that. And obviously we got water now. So now we got food, we got water, and that's everything we need. Uh, I'll throw some beds down real quick and we'll be good there. But it's the easiest way to do it is getting this this settlement, uh, this settler recruit beacon, you know, and then telling your settlers to do a job. That way they're just kind of mosey around. They, they have to do some sort of work that benefits you. Throw some beds and, and we should be good to go. So God bro. Hey, hey, this spot. There you go, yeah. We got enough beds. You guys can fit if I put two. You gotta make sure that they can fit in between these beds too, because sometimes they'll get confused. It's yeah, chaos. But yeah, I hope that helps everybody. Oh yeah, if you want to set up supply lines with your settlers, seeing they're now all done, and you can assign them to these. You can also have supply lines by going to Pit Boy and then going to level up. Now, as you see, my charisma's maxed, but in order to do it, you need charisma level six and then local leader. You choose those perks, and now you can do supply lines between your settlements with your settlers. And this is also how you build up stores, workstations, stuff like that at your uh, settlements. So you're really going to want charisma. It, it's definitely needed. But this local leader perk is, is also needed as well. I need to be level 14 to get the second perk, but yeah, I'll get there in no time. Hey, do you have a moment? 